Everyone's always waiting, I think, for their first star case and wondering what it's gonna be and where it's gonna happen. Uh, I think I was lucky in that mine happened when and where it did. So we had a call come in while we were already out flying a normal training flight uh, around the air station and uh, the air station op center called and said that there was a vessel aground and they hadn't initially requested Coast Guard assistance but they got into the surf um, to where there was no good way to get them off of the vessel short of hoisting them off of the helicopter. Uh, as the flight mechanic, my job is to get the swimmer down to the vessel, to talk to the crew, let them know what we're gonna do, and then eventually when they're ready and he's ready to hoist them up off of the deck of the boat, bring them into the 60 and then transport them. So one of our main concerns when we got on scene was, okay, we need to stay clear of the, of the mast. So we had to do the hoist from 80 feet. We were at 80 feet hoisting the entire time. They, we were lucky they weren't in any kind of medical distress. Initially going out, there was a lot of adrenaline. The weather conditions were great, so that made me feel very secure. Once we had the cabin door shut and we were uh, on the go again, and I was just happy to, to have it go so smoothly and, and so efficiently. I've probably done in the neighborhood of 100 to 150 training hoists. This was my first operational hoist. Everything that we train for is there for a reason and we have all the standard terminology, all the standard practices that we do. Uh, so having that go the way that I'm used to seeing it, I think it proves that uh, the training works.